Packet Trap PSA Customer Onboarding Video Series. This session will detail how to import your customer's equipment into your Packet Trap PSA account. By the end of this video, you should have a better understanding on how you can import your customer's equipment, why it's important for the undo import to be left open, and we'll also talk through some tips and tricks. The first step in the process is to log into your Packet Trap PSA account. You want to navigate over to Import Equipment and simply open up the Import dialog. Once here, you'll want to indicate what the format is. In this case, we're using a .csv, so comma delimited or comma separated. And the first row of our spreadsheet contains data or the header names. I'm simply going to browse out, find my file, and double click. Now I'm ready to continue to step two. In step two, we want to match our column headers to the data that we're importing. We've all matched up pretty good, so we're ready to import. A couple quick notes here. Reference number, for example, I don't have in my spreadsheet. So by leaving the header blank, we won't import into that column. If you have a column that you don't want to import, leave it blank. Next, service interval and service unit. Now that needs to be understood. So we can set a next service date on this piece of equipment. We also can set the interval and the unit. The unit in this case is going to be days, years, months. Uh, so, in this case, we're going to service this once a year. So pay attention to those fields if you're going to import next service date and the interval into the equipment. We can also import into custom fields. So a good example of that is username and password. If I had username and password as custom fields within my equipment record, I could put that data into the spreadsheet and import right into those fields. In this example, we're just going to put the username and password in the notes field. Once you're happy with your column matching, what we want to do is just click import now. We get a response from the import tool telling us that one record had been imported. If you keep this window open, you have the opportunity to undo your import and try again. So minimize this window and don't close it until you're happy with the data. So let's go take a look at our equipment. We could do that by clicking on the Equipment tab or by going to the customer whose the equipment was imported for. So here we can see a Mitel SX200 PBX. If we drill into it, we can see all the data that was in our spreadsheet. Here is the example of the custom fields that we've created in this equipment record. If I chose to pass in the username and password, in this example, Zeus, password 1010, we would want to split those out in their own columns and then import them directly into the custom fields. Just a quick recap. Now you should feel a little bit more comfortable about importing your customer's equipment into Packet Trap PSA. Hopefully you understand how important leaving the window open once you do the import is so that you can undo the import if the data did not come over to your liking and some of the tips and tricks and the key fields are customer name and equipment name we have to have both those data points to successfully import secondly equipment custom fields we'll talk in another session about how to customize equipment it may be worth spending a little bit of time to better understand the equipment within packet trap psa before you do your equipment import Last but not least, we talked a little bit about the next service date and the service interval. If that's something that you're interested in populating, make sure that you understand that the service unit and the service interval are labeled years and obviously the number or frequency that you'd like to do that service. Hope you found this session valuable. If you have any further questions, feel free to or contact your territory manager.